trying to reply here. Boyru down in that bot side as Jemmy C picks up the second kill of the game onto Lynx. Oland in trouble as well, and they're gonna feed that right over to the Aphelios. It's Aphelios not able to get out of that one. No flash available as Jemmy C still pushing forward. Has green, white, best guns for the 1v1. Get that Reddit combo. That's a double kill going over to the Aphelios. It's 5 and 1 on Mr. Sir 200. <laughs> So the 3v3 possibility is here. There's also the Rift Trail possibility, but Olin going to flash in, wow. going to get both of some out of Jemisee, but he still has that Moonlight Vigil up and available. So he's going to use that ultimate to keep himself safe. A Cyber trying to get out of there, but look at the damage coming down from Jemisee. Still, or use that ultimate already. Shen ultimate going to come down, stand united, as they now turn on to the teleport. London 519 in a world of hurt. Going to use that showstopper to try and stop Jemisee, but the taunt flash going to shut down the set. Diopa picks up his second kill of the game. London, he's the one who's hanging this one up. He will use that Haymaker to try and buy time, but it's one kill. Two kills for UBC here. An ex execute onto Loyal and a triple kill. And the teleport going to come down from Shen. Just to confirm that they get this. Diopa going to walk forward. Taunt up. Cyber, he's going to get hit by that Moonlight Vigil as well. Diopa so tanky as they take down the Baron. They look to turn the fight solid, but it lands on no one as Jabusi goes godlike and they continue the chase. Diopa has that turbo chem tank to walk forward, but the Cataclysm gonna lock down too. Boyru tossed back into the team as Cyber looks to pick up something, but Cyber's gonna get taken down and set to fall. But they haven't done. They haven't taken a tower, they haven't taken a dragon. <laughs> Cyber's gonna go down here. Jemmy C goes legendary as he has green, white, the combo you want to have in these fights. Gonna do a lot of damage onto that backline. Olin is taken down quite low, but the double kill coming through from Jemusi and the triple kill coming through. How many years? Not 200, <gasps> not 400, but 600. Boyru going to pick off another one. That's the double kill. Who needs Ocean Soul? You only need a cover. Loyal, gonna get taunted up here. Great level two. Good. Taking advantage of, and Loyal's gonna go down. First blood going over Ogre in the mid lane. Diopo with the where he is, and it looks like we're going to get the play. Cyber not lit yet. Level six. He has the flash available. Boyru just trying to hold as long as possible on the ultimate, but Cyber gonna flash a little early. Here comes the ultimate, the Onslaught of Shadows. Gonna end here. Jamusi gonna get taken down. Squee gonna get the stand united, and here comes the teleport. They're gonna give the double oh. kill over to the Soraka, and that is it. we're talking about. But here comes the combo, the aircraft carrier's here. Galio gonna ult in as well. Oland has no reply for this. Link's gonna fall down. Gonna be Rel falling down. Diopa gonna be under this tower. He's gonna get the double taunt coming through. They're trying to tower dive his Shen. This did not work for them last time they tried this. Here comes Ogre. He's gonna take down Links. They're going to get that kill onto the Shen as Galio is tossed back into the team. But it's another kill as Sivir is on his killing spree despite her bad start. He's able to stay alive. Jabuzi has so much HP coming through from the Soraka as Galio picks up a double kill. London going to get taunted up as Squee runs for the hills. But here comes to get the biggest shield possible, but Boyru gonna be trying to make a play around this dragon. Cyber's already out of the fight. This should be a dragon for the side of UBC. They're trying to toss the Hecarim out of the pit, but London's gonna get shot down once again. And at this point, I don't know what he's building. He's gotta build so many other components as Diopa gonna take down Olin. Loyal now under this tower. That's gonna be the shield bow pop. Diopa gonna stay alive, but surprise, here comes Soraka giving a 400 health heal. But Hecarim goes right past Cyber as Jabusi picks that one up. And it's a 5v2 squee going to try and get themselves out of here. But London gonna be taunted up, gonna try and use that showstopper to slow down Ooh. the play. Suki takes a lot of damage there, but will stay alive as Boyru now gonna have the Shen shield as Lynx runs for the hills. Mad V indeed, because you That. There's the combo, there's all the damage. Diopa has taken out Lynx already. That's half your damage gone. They were gonna take down the Rel as well. And Jamusia staying alive for so long. Four kills, four none. And a taunt flash forward. And that's the game. It's all around. Oh, there was actually a surrender vote from the side of Western. They want to get out of this one as fast as possible. And game one is strong dominant from UBC. Until Soraka's health bar reads zero, she is still Soraka, and oh, that fact can never be counted out. 
Oh, Lynx is gonna go in. They're gonna take down Suki, but it's gonna be Jemusi gonna be taking a lot of damage as Lynx spins to win. And it's gonna be a double kill already picked up, but Lynx gonna get taken down by Ogre. He has himself that Silas ultimate once again as London has teleported down. But here comes all the damage. Boiru comes down, picks up another one. It's gonna be London and Cyber versus Ogre and Boiru. They're gonna have to try and get themselves out of there. The flash from it. Cyber not gonna actually land that knockup. Boiru stays away for so long with that Conqueror, and now Ogre's on the chase. He's gonna flash forward with the King Slayer. He's waiting for some spawn to duck, and he's gonna abduct himself a pirate, and that's a great play coming out from UBC Premier. They turn themselves around the play with what looked like a really rough situation. Forced to use that flash, he does not have the flag and drag. Jamusi needs to try Ooh. and get this one down. There's the reset, and that's the kill onto Cyber. Jamusi back on the board with another one. And in the mid lane here, Ochre moving forward aggressively onto Lynx, but he is exhausted. Gonna spin, but it won't be enough. Gets shut down by Suki and the Silence, and they continue to walk forward. Kyoko looking for Dash out from Jamuzi. He's taken down so low, but Lynx might have overextended here. Boiru is here as well. Gonna jump forward. He will not land the resonating strike, but a double kill coming through from Suki. That's a lot of damage. Cyber's down here as well. He's gonna get taken down by Ogre, and this is what we expected to see at a UBC last game. They come out all guns to get out of but a good teleport down from Ogre as well as Diopa Air oh. gonna go for the aggressive play Loyal gonna get stunned up he's gonna flash away but a great ultimate coming through from Greg is to split up the team a double kill for Jamusi on this illusion Diopa is still on the chase Wayru has landed the resonating strike gonna use a great kick back and Lynx is gonna get knocked into the team insane and oh my goodness, they're going aggressive once again. The Everfrost stun gonna land on Cyber, but Olin's gonna be the one to pay the price. Boiru is back up and available. Lynx, oh my goodness, the stun under the tower from Cyber is gonna be enough, and it's gonna be tanked up, and Lynx is now the next one on the ultimates. They burn the Ash Arrow as well. They get absolutely nothing. Uh, Dennis, Dennis, you're just gonna open up, gonna take down that tower, but Boiru gonna go into that back like that. He's gonna go in, he's gonna call it down. It's going to be that ultimate there on to the Viego. He's not able to get anyone, and Boiru goes all the way into the back line. That's a double kill. He will be taken down, but Loyal is forced to try and get out of there. He's hot like a balloon. Geopa able to clean that one up. This might be the game. Lynx is trying to make any sort of last stand, but it won't be enough. The only one who is left alive is the name of this city, which they were brought from. London 519 gonna be the